stuff that is happening around you. I, I know for me personally, it's a lot of stuff that's going on family-wise, and there are very few places outside of social media where you're able to kind of talk about how you actually feel. But it's like, it's not even that. People have been saying he had it done, he had it done. Yeah, last time I checked, you are a police officer. You should be trained to handle situations. I'm not saying let him shoot you, but you need to be a police officer and stop using the gun and grow some balls and actually kind of help it. Like, use the police, and I know y'all being trained for two years. You trying to tell me your first instance is to shoot somebody? The fact that we fear from you says a lot. We shouldn't fear you, we should respect you. Black lives that matter. Why do we have to say we matter? I love Alexis. Two pieces. And we all know she's low key black. She just doesn't like to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> but like the fact that you can sit here as a white person yeah. and say we, and then even even just you being okay with this. Because I've, I've sat and talked about stuff with other white people and they just get so uncomfortable. Yeah. Like I had to write a paper on police brutality because no one else wanted to sit up and talk about it. But what they did when want to sit up and talk about is the n-word and if white people can use it and if it's okay to say it but then as soon as someone as, as soon as another black person one of their excuse my language one of their niggas got shot y'all you're not just you just so happen not to be black anymore you don't want to be hood you want to you don't want to listen to my music as soon as somebody got shot but let let one of your homeboys get shot let somebody let one of your friends just so happen to get knocked out by one of us Oh, then you want to throw up a fence. One of the things that Zion said that I think we want to remember is why does something have to go wrong before we have these conversations?